Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft and today I'm pulling out the Gelato's colors to create this mixed media canvas. So I have two collections on my desk. I have the Pastels colors which comes in this awesome kit um, with 15 of them and then I also have the Metallics uh, set which uh, also comes with 15 colors in the Metallics collection. I'm also going to be using the stencils from the 101 collection. I had pulled out the whip spackle but I ended up not using it on my project today. I do that sometimes. And I will be using the gel medium and the gesso. So I'm working on this 9 by 12 flat canvas board and it is pre-gessoed but it was a little bit dirty just from sitting around in my craft room and so I decided to brighten it up and add a thin layer of gesso just to cover up any smudges or dirty spots that were on it and um, then I went in and started laying down some pattern papers um, using the gel medium so I will usually put a coat on my surface as well as the back of the paper that I'm going to adhere to my canvas and then I will put that on and smooth it down with another coat on top. This just ensures that it gets a nice smooth seal and it's not going to go anywhere and it's not going to bubble or wrinkle. So one of the things that I love about using uh, pattern papers on my canvases like this, um, two things, it gives me um, a start for a color palette. So I'll go through my pattern papers or if I have something that I just want to use, I like the colors in it, I'll pick that and then I can pick colors from the gelatos that I'm using to match that paper. Also, it's just a nice starting point for me to get rid of that <clears throat> blank canvas that's kind of staring back at me. And I just put papers down and it kind of gets the creativity flowing for me. So the next thing that I do is add a very light wash of gesso on top of all of those papers. And um, it's very watered down so you can really see the papers showing through. It just ties it more into the canvas. So I'm going to pull out some of my gelatos. I will have the actual colors listed on the blog. But um, this is one of my favorite techniques to use. I just scribble on um, in a circular motion the colors that I want to use. And then taking the spray bottle, I spray them very generously with water. Then I take my fingers, which is probably my favorite paint tool, and I will blend them together, move that color around, and then add some more water, lift up the canvas, and let those drips just fall down the canvas where they will. Um, I don't do anything with those drips, but I will go back in to the top and blend those colors and kind of smooth out any of the gelatos that um, didn't dissolve with the water and just kind of smooth them up, get that pigment going again. So I'm doing the same thing at the bottom. Same technique with two other colors. The Aqua Dolce Blue is probably one of my favorite colors ever in a gelatos. And um, so I just let those drips. So I have drips going down and up my canvas. And the next thing I'm going to do using um, one of the gelatos from the Metallics collection is I pick up the pigment directly from the container with a wet baby wipe. And um, using the stencil, I will just rub that pigment through the stencil. And it gives a nice gradient. Um, as you work the baby wipe through the stencil, you'll have some dark areas where the pigment is really heavy when you first picked it up, and then some lighter areas as you start using up the pigment and it becomes lighter on your baby wipe. So that's one of my other favorite techniques to use with gelatos, and I wanted to show both of those on this canvas today. So I am pulling in that gray color, um, more um, areas in my canvas, um, just by using that technique uh, through the stencil, adding some more texture and added interest to my piece. Um, I think that gray really matches the pattern paper writing that was on there, and so I wanted to pull that color more into my canvas. So. 
um, almost done. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is take a um, rub on that I have, and this is going to be my focal point for this entire canvas. So I'm laying that down and I'm just using the popsicle stick that came with it and rubbing that onto my canvas. And um, it's very easy. It goes over the all of those layers, all of that paper and the gelatos. Um, it just came off really smooth. I did add a um, thin layer of gel medium that I didn't film over top of the rub on just to protect it and give it a barrier because I was going to add more color on top and I didn't want any water or anything like that to pull up that rub on. So now I'm taking some of the texture lux in gold and I'm adding that with another stencil um, just on a few spots on my page to tie in the gold from the rub on. So now the, re and the reason that I use the gel medium is so that I could work with the um, big pen, the Pit Artist Big Stampers pens, um, and uh, they work so well over gel medium. Uh, you can see that I'll just lay a light, um, like I'll just follow the outline of that flower, and then I will rub it in and create some shadow around the image to kind of pop that out. And with the chill medium, it gives you a lot longer to work with, so I can use my fingers to blend out that color. Um, but because it is a um, India ink, it's permanent once it is fully dry. So that's what I was trying to get out there. Um, so yeah, I'm just adding some of the Pit Artist pens in metallic colors on the little berries and these little dots in the center of the flower. I'm using copper and the red metallic. They're really pretty and I thought they just went along with the other shimmer and shine of the metallics on the canvas. So now again I'm doing that same technique where I'm scribbling on some color and then I'm using my finger to blend it out and I just I can't say it enough I love using these pens over gel medium because of this and it makes it so it's kind of translucent um, and you wouldn't be able to do this if you didn't have the gel medium. Now it would work over gesso, you would have a little bit more time to work with it, but if you were just coloring on paper, you wouldn't have that time because pap the paper would soak up that um, ink right away and it'll dry a lot faster. But, but the gel medium gives you like this barrier and it just makes it so that you have a lot more time to work. So one thing I did want to say is that I do apologize for uh, my tripod being in the picture and my messy desk as you can see as I work <laughs> more on the canvas um, there's just like more and more and more. I just pull things in and I don't put them away as I'm working um, and so yeah they just like the stencils just kind of fell all over me and <laughs> I just kind of show them off to the side, but um, when I'm working on such a large piece, like this is a 9x12, it's pretty big for me. I'm used to uh, smaller sizes. I started out as a card maker, so working on larger canvases is definitely a stretch and a challenge for me. And um, unfortunately, I have to pull the camera out enough that you do see like the bottom of my tripod, so I just don't have any way around it. But hopefully you can get an idea of what I'm doing and how awesome these pens are to work on gel medium and get that, that blending between like the two colors I'm using, um, a yellow and a pink. And you can see here that I still have enough time to wipe off because I accidentally picked up a different yellow that I pulled out but ended up not using and I accidentally picked that up when I was adding more yellow but I was able to take like a, a really damp almost dry baby uh, wipe and pick that up and put the right yellow that I wanted to so I just kind of mess around and layer up my colors add more pink if I think I want more pink add more yellow if I want more yellow I like the way these two colors blend together and give you kind of a nice pretty orange um, where they meet so and I just kind of 
mess around with it and move it around until I'm happy. So now I'm going to bring in some darker color to the center of the flower and it's a smaller area so you'll see that I kind of go in there with this darker color and then I'll blend it out with this lighter gray and it works the same way they blend really nice together. Um, adding a little bit more red and then I don't have a color green in the um, big stampers pen so I pulled in the green that I used on um, the canvas background the gelatos color and I'm using that same technique with the baby wipe direct from the gelatos to color in the leaves and I think that was really pretty and then um, because I think everything looks better with shimmer and glitter I pulled out the um, glass bead glitter gel and I'm just adding it to this the flower uh, with my fingers. Like I said, my fingers are my favorite tool <laughs> when I'm working with mixed media. So you can see all of that beautiful texture. And I love it that it dries completely clear and all you see is the glitter behind. So here are some close-ups of my finished piece. I hope you enjoyed this video showing you a couple techniques to use with your gelatos and you can use this on cards, you can use this in your art journals, on canvas and uh, home decor. So um, thank you again for watching. For more inspiration definitely check out the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft blog and I will see you next time. Bye.